Hoo hoo everyone. I'm Joanne Ninjahan. I'm a beginner web fiction author and a long time web fiction reader and I'm telling you today about web fiction. This video is roughly about what is web fiction, where can I find or read web fiction, what kinds of web fiction are out there, like uh, common genres or distinctions between different kinds of web fiction, how do the authors earn their money, and maybe we skip the history of web fiction part. Let's see. So, what is web fiction? That's pretty easy. The world contains web, like the big interweb, the internet, and the word fiction, like stories, things that brew in your mind. That's web fiction. Stories, novellas, other fiction that is published primarily on the internet. Many of the web fictions are published in a serial form, like the old serial stories in the newspapers. You uh, get to read one chapter a week. So um, web fiction in the internet, you uh, can read depending on the update schedule of the author, uh, one chapter a week, one chapter a month, one chapter a day. It depends on the author. You can roughly categorize web fiction into three kinds. That's original fiction. That is original content developed by the author themselves. Translations especially translations from the Asian region are popular, Japanese, Korean and Chinese. And fan fiction. Fan fiction is it, when you are a fan of something like Harry Potter and you imagine a story in the Harry Potter universe with the Harry Potter characters um, interacting and it's a very big part of web fiction if not uh, the biggest part at uh, the moment. Then I wrote some nouns associated uh, with this kind of fiction. For original um, fiction um, some people call them web novels. This can uh, lead to misunderstandings because webnovel.com is one of the biggest uh, providers for web novels or the um, noun web fiction in general refers primarily to original fiction. This is debatable. <laughs> Translations, uh, the kind of novels who are preferable translated on light novels, Japanese light novels, Korean light novels, and uh, light novels is uh, what the English-speaking community says, maybe pulp uh, novels, or in Germany it's Groschenroman. So it's not the highest standard of literature, it's more the um, McDonald's of lit literature, which makes you feel good, but you are not sure if it's really healthy for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, fan fiction, this is more a joke, a corrupting force of the minds of innocent uh, girls. There is a lot of smut in all these three categories because the uh, internet is for prawn. <laughs> there are a lot of other categories of fiction as well, like sci-fi and fantasy is very popular, um, of course, uh, romance. Yeah, I would say these are the three most popular genres in uh, the web fiction world. All right, where can I find web fiction? On the thumbnail I showed you a few sources of web fiction, but we will look at the stats pages and go over it from the most popular to the some of the less popular fiction pages.
I'm showing you now the top website rankings of uh, the platform SimilarWeb in the category Books and Literature in the World. This page ranks all the major pages of the category Books and Literatures of the World according to the uh, visits. Yeah, visits and visitors. So, uh, number one is Wattpad. Wattpad has around 80 million users and is the biggest fiction page for English speakers. It is primarily original content and uh, romance is the strongest genre, including romance, urban fantasy, romance, fantasy stories. I'm not that familiar uh, with Wattpad, but <laughs> let's look at it. So we are at Wattpad now um, on the browser. They have an app as well and uh, the app is very widely uh, used. So they have the main um, categories um, and you see it's uh, a bit uh, woke with diverse lit and LGBTQ plus as uh, major categories. Teen fiction as a major category. Yeah, I forgot a uh, young adult and uh, teen fiction. I guess that's very strong on uh, Wattpad as well. The customers, the readers are mostly female. To be political incorrect, you can see this <laughs> on the uh, numbers of the fictions. What I really like about Wattpad is the tech thingy. All right, now we have a number. 1.1 million stories in Romans. Let's see Vampire Love. What? Only 349 stories in Vampire Love? I can't believe this. <laughs> okay, now look, let's look at sci-fi. Sci-fi. 69,000 stories. Science fiction, 69,000 stories. That's to that. To summarize, Wattpad, great on romance and other categories with additional romance thrown in. Not so great on hard sci-fi and hard fantasy. All right. We got to Wattpad. Manga Rock um, is a page with um, mangas like comics. We don't go over this. And uh, the next is Archive of Our Own. I'm not personally familiar with this page. As I understand it, it's entirely fan fiction. If you want to check out some fan fictions, some newer fan fictions, you can go to Archive of Our Own. And um, if you want to read some older fan fiction, I think fan fiction that is better for this. If you compare the amount of um, Harry Potter fictions both platforms have, um, fan fiction net has about 800,000 stories of Harry Potter. <laughs> I mean, that's unbelievable. And um, some of them are longer than uh, the books. Archive of Our Own has only yeah, 200,000 um, stories. So, yeah, that's great. 200,000 stories. Go for it, Archive of Our Own. The next one is Chidian. It's a Chinese page. And uh, in China, web novels are a very, very big thing. The best earning author on GDN makes 20 millions a year. But I don't know um, currency. I hope for the author it's not rubles. 
but if it were the native currency that's still over two million dollars um, a year uh, they may get back there gdn has a special position on this list because uh, multiple entries on this list get their content from gdn like uh, wuxia world com has translations from uh, chinese to english um, from gdn and other chinese web novel pages the place number uh, 20 webnovel.com is a daughter company of uh, a sub company of gdn they uh, founded it to get the entry in the english speaking market uh, the international market they have other languages than english as well and uh, they just started uh, two years ago maybe one or two or three years at max and are rising quite uh, nicely to the expand of wuxia world <laughs> that's life next we have the russians i don't know anything <laughs> about this uh, page because i don't understand um russian not that i understand chinese yeah but i really I read more Chinese translation than Russian translations, but I read a lot of both. Um, so you can find Russian um, translations at Royal Roads, but it's a more recent uh, development. So I can't give you a definitive answer to where to find the Russian fictions. Well, another Chinese another Chinese, a page about magazines, um, not our cup of tea in this video, Chinese. That's uh, like the wiki for pop culture. I <laughs> it has nothing to do with web fiction or only very little to do with web fiction, but I strongly recommend it if you want to waste half a day just clicking through entertaining articles. Chinese, Chinese, international. Wuxia World is primarily translations. I believe they have a little original sector as well. Um, I'm not sure about it. Uh, if you like Chinese or Korean light novels, check out Wuxia World. Chinese, Chinese. Russia, China. That's a book borrowing service. So if you're interested in something like this, uh, go and check it out. Chinese. And now we've got to uh, webnovel.com. Like I mentioned, this is a subcompany of GDN. Here you can find the male readers. Just kidding. They have a lot of female readers as well. There's a strong fantasy category. There's a strong sci-fi category. And there's, of course, especially strong Eastern fantasy category and a strong video games category. And uh, video games is not about uh, existing video games, but it's game lit or lit RPG, which is another popular genre um, of web fiction. And uh, that's the genre I'm uh, writing in. You can uh, see here my uh, little novel, Auntie Toast, the uh, V-R-M-M-O-R-P-G. The, king the King's Avatar is Gamelet. There's uh, an anime uh, to this series, there, that's the light novel. And uh, there's uh, mangas to this series. So it's pretty big in China and now it's pretty big internationally. They have a strong romance uh, section as well, and uh, the subgenre is called CEO novels because the male protagonist is a CEO of a big company and spoils his dear wife or future wife uh, rotten. Library of Heaven's Path is a cultivation novel and that's the strongest or maybe the second strongest uh, genre at uh, webnovels.com. They have very, very many translated works 
from GDN, but they also offer original works. Um, you can upload there your original works, so that's great. Unfortunately, webnovel.com is not entirely free. Every novel has a free chapters. This is free, this is free, okay, so the uh, chapter you have to pay for start here at, uh, 90, at the 91th chapter. Sometimes you get a few hundred free entries, sometimes there's even uh, less free entries. But of course there are um, stories which are entirely free, especially from the original authors. So I wanted to show this page as well. It's not in the top 20, but it's a very old page and it was one of the forefathers, uh, one of the first web fiction pages. So I wanted to be included. Fiction Press is the little brother of Fan Fiction Net and Fan Fiction Net was a long time the biggest page of fan fiction in the internet and you can see even on fiction press there are more than enough stories to occupy you your whole life so we went over the biggest platforms but if you're interested especially in a sub genre or in a specific genre like fantasy sci-fi romance then it's sometimes better to visit some of the smaller pages. Royal Road is not a small page as, at all. It's a very big platform and it's especially big in my genre, Lit RPG. I've got more followers um, on Royal Road than on webnovel.com <laughs> and of course I'm Lit RPG is very uh, sci-fi intensive and um, numbers intensive, so I've got nearly no traction at Wattpad. So if you're interested in a specific genre, it's totally worth it to find out um, what are the popular platforms of this specific genre you're interested in you get a better selection, a better community out of the smaller platforms. Yeah, for Lit RPG, I definitely can recommend Royal Roads. It's great on fantasy and sci-fi as well. So yeah, check it out. All right, we did the where can I find and read web fiction and what kind of web fiction is out there, common genres in one go. So the next topic is how do authors earn their money? Royal Road offers a fantastic service to their author. The readers can directly donate in um, every chapter and um, as donations uh, ways they offer PayPal or Patreon. Many authors are financed by Patreon on all the platforms. Royal Road is only the politest about uh, giving the reader a chance to reach the Patreon without any hassles. And you also can create links in the description of the book, which is quite good for connecting to your community of uh, readers. It's such an obvious thing in an internet page to offer connection to social media, but it's astonishingly rare on the platforms. So back to Wattpad. Wattpad has a paying model on the platform itself. Unfortunately, I can't say anything to this paying model. Yeah, I know there are paid stories, but uh, how it works, I don't know. Wattpad offers social media connection as well. Another thing I like about Wattpad is that they have integration of other media. So I can drop here a video without any problems. I can um, integrate pictures. 
I can't can integrate the tables themselves. I have to take a picture of them and insert uh, it here. But it's much better than other pages like web novel or fiction press for tables. <laughs> of course, I have to admit uh, there aren't many shores who rely on tables, but I'm writing in a genre who relies on tables, namely lit RPG. So this is a concern for me. So I already spoke a bit about the payment model of webnovel.com and it's locked chapters and you can unlock these chapters with uh, spirit stones. You get some spirit stones free every day if you uh, check in. So 12 uh, spirit stones a day, you can want, you can get one uh, to two chapters a day for this. The main payment method for web authors, for web fiction authors, is crowdfunding. This happens on different crowdfunding pages. The most popular was Patreon. Patreon had a few controversies in the last year, so some authors left Patreon, but it's still the biggest source for income for that novel um, authors. That's the Patreon page of Scully. He was a very popular web novel author. He didn't publish much the last uh, few months. Or weeks, uh, so his uh, patrons uh, dropped a bit off, but he was able to make um, a living out of his patrons. So his payment model is very common as well. He sells access to advanced uh, chapters. Here you can see it, uh, for four or more dollars per month. You get uh, following perks, and uh, this tier includes three advanced chapters of his web novel. So let's look what you get for $100 a month. Yes, it's for rich and famous and generous dragons. Very good. $100 a month isn't for any product the author can give to you. When you support an author for $100 a month, you uh, support him because you're a true Patreon who supports the arts. That was Patreon. There are other su subscription platforms. Subscribestar, I believe. Um, Scully tested it and he said it wasn't that good as Patreon for authors. So uh, Patreon is the go-to page as far as I know. And if you want to be nice to your authors and enjoy reading all the free works on the internet, so show them some appreciation and join their Patreon for a month or two, for a dollar or two, for five dollars. Um, you don't have to be a dragon above man <laughs> uh, to get the appreciation of the authors. Eunice is a very popular author as well, and her payment model is a bit different. She sells bonus chapters. Why not? All right, we are now at the last part, history of web fiction. Yeah, let's just say that web fiction is at, as old as the internet, but I have to say one additional thing about serialized fiction because web fiction has a bit of a bad reputation. If you compare um, indie authors to traditionally published author, you can see a decrease of quality of grammatical errors and um, editing errors. There's another decrease uh, to web fiction. I started reading web fiction in English because I couldn't stand the grammatical issues with German um, web fiction and uh, my English wasn't good enough to 
catch all the grammatical and spelling errors of English web fiction. Unfortunately, that changed a bit, so I catch now more. I read really horrible, horrible web fictions. You can get some machine translations that are better than some of the web fictions out there, but some of them still entertained me through the bear, the rare, horrible. <laughs> it's fascinating, it's really fascinating how much you are ready to suffer for your web novel addiction, for your reading addiction. It's, <laughs> I think reading addiction is uh, my number one addiction and it's one of the most fun addictions you can have. So the world of web fiction gives you unlimited supply of your drug of choice and that's a wonderful and horrible at the same time. So if you like this video, um, check out my, my novel uh, or check out my YouTube channel. Bye bye! And of course do all this YouTube jazz smashing like buttons, subscribing and uh, you know the drill. Now really bye bye.